Sweetwater, he opened up the door. Michael Jordan even said, there's no Michael Jordan without Sweetwater. He brought style and flair, finger on alley-oops, a creativity that we love to watch every day that packs out the arenas. The NBA didn't have that. Basically, Sweetwater Clifton is the Jackie Robinson of the NBA. What's up, y'all? This is Everett Osborne. And Jeremy Piven. And we're about to do Players Breakdown. We're both in the movie Sweetwater. It's a true story about Nat Sweetwater Clifton, who's the first African-American to sign an NBA contract. I play Coach Joe Lapchick, who actually poaches Sweetwater from the Harlem Globetrotters and uh, made history. Basically, Sweetwater Clifton is the Jackie Robinson of the NBA. I had no idea who he was at all. So it was a, a definitely an eye-opening. I played ball and had no idea who the first man that crossed this color barrier was. So Sweetwater, he opened up the door. Michael Jordan even said, there's no Michael Jordan without Sweetwater. He also changed the way the game was played. So he brought style and flair, finger on alley-oops, a creativity that we love to watch every day that packs out the arenas. The NBA didn't have that. You put me on that flow, all focus goes on me. I've been playing ball since I was four years old. I played professional in Australia. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I did break the NBA celebrity all-star game scoring record <laughs> with my boy in the stands watching me, Coach Piz. I played ball, I didn't, but I didn't play in 1950. So that must have been difficult to like almost stifle your instincts and go, okay, this is, let me redirect how he, he would play. I had a moment where I realized like, I got to put effort completely to the side. So yeah, it was kind of tricky, but that's just the job we got as an actor, right? We got to put ourselves to the side, absorb something new. It's wild because I don't want to give anything away, but they do show some archival footage at the end of the film. And the, the way you were playing was so identical to Sweetwater is that when they were showing the black and white stuff, I actually thought it was you. They kept the cameras rolling. I mean, we'll go full court and just play basketball, sweating, really playing between the legs, layups, really doing that, really falling out of bounds, making shots, really dunking, really having to catch alley oop. So, I mean, it was a true authentic story and we made sure we showed that, but it was fun. It was a blast for me, at least. I don't remember him missing a shot. Everything you see in the film is him. It was never, we never had to like bring a double in nah. or anything like that, which it's unheard of. It was locked in, easy bucket, nothing but net, crowd going crazy. You know, this is a big game. This is, this is Sweetwater's first time ever playing as a New York Nick. So the fact he crossed that line this day, everybody's watching. So it wasn't just a regular game. It actually meant something for not just black people, but everybody. Okay, we're gonna run some pick and rolls from McGuire. Coach, don't stop. What? We're a much better team sweets in there. Listen, coach. You put me on that flow, all focus goes on me. We can use that to our advantage, all right? Let us take this game over. Right. You heard the man, let's go. Coach Lapchick uh, calls a timeout and his players are, are not getting back on defense and he's losing his mind. He knows that Sweetwater's got four fouls. And, yeah. Um, you know, he, he does, you he gotta pull him out of the game. Um, but the rest of the players, basically cut me off, which is really rare. So there's a moment where Sweets is like, okay, you know what? Let me actually use the focus on me and use that to distract from my other teammates who we've been training and working out with and let them now start playing how I taught them how to play. That's where the game became bigger than, oh, this is a Sweetwater moment. Oh no, this is a, this is a basketball moment for people. I could say a most interesting part for me was to really, you know, live in the world of Sweetwater, to really actually hear and witness and feel the racial tension and slurs. I'm like, okay, wow, seeing what that character had to go through in a real life, real time, there's an unexplainable feeling that ancestors had to go through that. It's, it's one of those movies that really hits you because you're watching this, you're immersed in the story, and then you realize, my God, this, this, this happened. Yeah. This really happened. Yeah. If I were to to give a specific point about what the audience could take away from the film. I think they're gonna be able to see anything as possible. I think they're gonna understand like no matter what boundaries is put in front of you, let's be curious about that. Like, maybe we can do something differently. Maybe I could be more innovative. Maybe power is in my hands, right? So I think they're gonna catch that and realize, yo, yeah, I'm, I can be empowered and do something I've never seen happen before. Let us take this game over. So that was us breaking down Sweetwater. Make sure you check back for more episodes like Players Breakdown. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay, he calling for the ball. They're not passing it to him. It's probably around fourth quarter, I'm thinking. Can't find nobody. 